Greetings, greetings, everyone. It's still Mr. Satrayo here, and we are still are looking at our number pattern. So, which paper we are examining? Basically, now we are looking at our November uh, 2021 paper, right? So, we are trying to understand in terms of what was required of us then, right? We are still looking at our topic, which is number pattern, right? Now, let's look at this one. Now they say now uh, the table below indicates the minimum number of matches required to construct a what a, a triangle, right? So now the first question is they want us to find out now what is going to be the value of your A and also the value of your B. And by the look of things, look from moving to uh to what uh to three to five, two was added, moving also to what to uh five to seven two was added so therefore it is almost you know uh easy for us to then predict that for you to move from uh a seven to this you are going to just simply add two which is going to be then this is going to be nine and this other one which is going to be eleven how to get so which means your three point one point one the value of your a is going to be given by e nine and your value of your B is going to be given by 11, right? So basically, that is what we are going to do now here. Now, secondly, now they say determine the formula to represent the general TN of this particular thing, right? Look, I always appreciate that we use this particular formula. To TN is equal to A plus uh, into N subtract 1, uh, close bracket D. The A represent the, uh, you know, the first term, which is your 3 plus uh, this is n subtract 1, and then the difference there, it is 2, right? The difference is what is the difference between the first term and the second consecutive term, right? So this is going to be the same as 3 plus uh, 2n subtract 2. So therefore, which means your tn here, the tn that you're going to find, the same as 2n plus 1, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So basically, that is going to be your two, uh, your two marks there. They say how many matches are required to create 100 uh, triangles now for you to create 100 triangles how many are you going to need right so which means you are going to say what is your t100 basically and your t100 is going to be 2 into 100 plus 1 this is going to be 200 200 plus 1 the same as 201 right so which means basically you are going to need 201 matches to create uh 100 triangles right now uh, then let's look at uh, now our 3.1.4. They say now how many triangles can be made with 305 matches, right? So which means basically here they are saying if Tn is equals to 305, therefore how many uh, matches uh, or rather how many triangles can be made? So this is going to be still the same as what? 305, this is the same as 305 is equals to 2n plus 1. And then when you take this one, this side, this is the same as what? 304 is going to be caused to your 2n. And what is it that you're going to do now here? You're dividing by 2, you're dividing by 2, which means the value of your n is going to be given by what? It is going to be given by 152. How to get? Now, that is basically going to be the value of your n, which means you are going to basically, uh, you are going to create uh, 152 triangles with 305 matches, right? How to get? Now, let's look at this last question. Now, what is it that is required of us here? They say the first three terms of our linear pattern is given by them. Now, they want us to solve for x. Look, uh, probably this might need more space. So, let, make, let us make up some space here so that we can solve this one. But if you can look at this one, right? I know some of you, as soon as you see the x, ah, your mind just go crazy. You think this is something that is difficult, which is not. Let's look at this one. Look. Now, uh, what is it that you are going to have basically here? This is the same as 2x uh, squared. You are given that this is 2x squared plus 5x uh, plus 5. The other one is given by 2x squared. Look at me. I could have written this uh, this side, but it's fine. Plus 5x plus 2. The other one is going to be, uh, the other pattern is also 3x squared. 3x squared plus 4x minus three so basically that is going to be that one and for you to determine this what type of a pattern firstly this one is now the type of a pattern that you are given here this is our linear pattern right so since this is our linear pattern what is it that we already know we know that if we can do the differences here so we can find out what is going to be the difference and then the difference then we're going to equate them so which means what is it that you're going to do so this is going to be the second term remember this is term one this is term two and this is term three 
right? So Tim one here, Tim two rather, it's going to what this is same as two x squared, uh plus five x plus two subtract what you you open bracket. This is going to be two x, uh squared plus five x plus five, right? So basically that is what you are going to do. Subtract what is it that you are going to subtract now? Now you are going to subtract your what you are going to subtract your three x squared. Uh, this is going to be same as uh, what remember this is equals to you are equating because it cannot be subtract right so this is term uh this is term uh what term two subtract term one so then this one is going to be same as what we are going to do term three subtract term two right so let's make it some space here so that we do it nicer then let's write it in here this is term what term three now subtract term two which is going to be these two right we're just writing it here so that we can uh, amplify our space now this is same as what this is same as three x squared 3x squared plus 4x uh, minus 3. Then this is going to subtract. You open your brackets. This is the same as 2x squared plus 5x plus your 2. Basically, this is what you are going to be subtracting. And now the next thing that we are going to do, we are going to uh, equate these particular equations, both of these equations of ours. And now, when we are equating both of these equations of ours, what is it that you are going to have? So which means basically this is same as, uh, this is like this. Uh, the first one, it is what? It is 2x squared plus 5x uh, plus 2 subtract. The other one, it is what? It is 2x squared plus 5x plus 5. Then we equate it to this one. This one is same as what? 3x squared plus 4x minus 3. This is going to subtract into brackets 2x squared plus 5x minus what? minus three so basically that is going to be that one uh if i've done that correctly yes because this is that other one right not again so basically that is going to be that one 2x squared and then this is going to be plus two i meant this is same as plus two right so basically that is going to be those particular equations now let's try then and solve this and see in terms of what is it that you're going to find now when you are solving here we are going to start here Let's open our brackets. When you open our brackets, let me now write this with another color so that you can see this is 2x squared plus 5x, right? This is plus 5x, and then this is going to be plus 2. Uh, plus 2 subtract 2x squared. Uh, then this is subtract 5x. This is subtracting 5x plus 5. This is going to be equals to what? This is equals to 3x squared plus 4x. Subtract your 3 subtract this other one now is going to be 2x squared uh subtract 5x right and then this is going to be subtract 2 so basically this is going to be that equation and now when you are moving from here then what else then are you going to have now from here then you are going to solve this now uh here you're having two this one and this one are going to cancel right and then what else are you then going to have this is 2x squared subtract 2x squared and then what else are you then going to have this side to Let's see, we are having uh, 5, uh, then this is going to be 5, and what is going to be this particular 5? This 5 is also sub uh, supposed to be negative, isn't it so? So this is supposed to be negative 5, right? And then let's see, this is 5x, uh, this is plus 5x minus 5x, so basically all these are going to cancel. And now, because this was multiplied by negative, this is also supposed to be negative 5. And then if this is negative 5, what is it that you are going to have on this uh, uh, on this side, this side, you're only going to have negative 5 plus 2, which is going to be negative 3, right? So this side is going to equate to negative 3. Now, when you come this other side, what is it that you're going to have? Let's see, in terms of what is it that you're going to find? 3x squared subtract 2x squared. This is going to give you x squared. And then now you're having 4x subtract 5x. 4x subtract 5x. This is going to be the same as subtract x. Then now you're having 3. You're having 2. What is this going to give you? This is going to be negative 5. Oh, okay. So basically, this is going to be the equation. Let me write it nicer here. This is now x squared, subtract x, subtract 5 is equals to negative 3. Then when you take this one, this side, this is the same as x squared, subtract x, uh, subtract x. Then this is the same as subtract what? This is the same as subtract your 2 is equals to 0 when you take this uh, 3, this particular side. Then you open your two brackets is equals to zero. This is going to be your x. This is going to be your x. This is going to be your one and also your two. 
And what is going to be your answer here? This is going to be because the value of the middle term is negative. So this is going to be negative plus, right? So which means your x is going to be given by what? Your x is either going to be given by uh, your 2 or your x is going to be given by your negative 1. I want to get. So basically that is going to be your value of your x. I want to get. And then now uh, you have successfully solved this particular equation. Hopefully now this makes sense to you and you are in a position to do all these type of questions. Thank you very much.